Hi, hi everyone. Good morning. This is Sunday, New Zealand time, uh, ten seventeen. Um, normally our live video is at nine o'clock, but um, I just received an, uh, a text message from Kevin and said that he won't be able to go online today, uh, well because of the internet issues. Um, so I'm here today with you guys. I'm, so every day at 9 o'clock we um, have a live video and talk about uh, a various topic and then we give you um, uh, an acupressure point All right, so today's topic is about no sweating It also called as a uh, hypohydrosis right? which means some people when you exercise very hard and then it's not, not sweating you know, you can't sweating and this cause some health. It's it's a health issue and it cause discomfort. So <clears throat> let's talk about this. I know it's very rare conditions, uh, but we all sweat. If you find it, you are the person that who um difficult to sweat and that is some problem. There's organ imbalance according to Chinese medicine. I'm gonna share with you later. So if you suffer from no sweating sweating please give me a thumbs up or reply one <clears throat> if you know anyone who suffer from this condition please reply one say yes as well now um we going to talk about what the opposite is uh sweat a lot sweat too much so tomorrow kenny is going to show you some tips for this all right so today we're talking about no sweats at all okay um so yeah let me know where you're from and say hi to me and share this live video on your um, um, uh, Facebook or, or if you're on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel and share, uh, take the link and share with your friends if your friends suffer from this, okay? So let's talk about what is hypohydrosis. I just mentioned it, no sweat, right? Sweating is your body body's way of cooling down itself, right? So what does it mean? Sweating is actually, when, when, when you sweat, it actually uh, 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 get rid of some heat, you know? It get off some heat out of your body. So it cool your body down. That's why when you, when you run, when you exercise, right? You feel hot and you sweat. So the hair, if you don't sweat, the heat's gonna contain in your body and it will be too much it will cause heat stroke, right? So what happened is the sweating going out of your body and it removed the heat out of your body and it reduced temperature. It maintained your, your, the right temperature for your body. Does it make sense? I hope it makes sense. It's pretty, pretty uh, sensible, right? So some people aren't able to sweat typically because their sweat glands are no longer functioning properly. Well, this condition is known as hypohydrosis or anhydrosis. It can affect your entire body or a single area. So what does it mean? It can, some people say, oh, I can't sweat at all. The full body, they don't have any sweating. You know, even it doesn't matter how hard they, they work for. And some people is like, uh, they they run 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 run, and then for hour they only sweat a little bit. There's an issue as well, you know, that called hypohydrosis. And some some person is well in your know, half body. You know, I've seen people sweating only on half the right side or the left side, and the other side no sweating, and that's a type of hypohydrosis as well. So the inability to sweat can cause overheating we talk about that really it can lead to heat stroke right which is a potentially life threatening condition hyperhidrosis can be difficult to diagnose very difficult very difficult not easy this means that mild hyperhidrosis often goes unnoticed the condition has many causes it can be inherited at birth 
or develop later in life. Right. So, if it's a disease, difficult to hide, find out the causes. And in Chinese medicine, whether you're born with it or it develops afterward, we put down to heart problem. So it's funny. What we talk about, no sweat. And the opposite is sweating too much, right? The heart control sweating. So either that, that actually is from the heart. According to Chinese medicine, it definitely is a heart problem. But when you go to Western doctor, go to GP, it doesn't make sense to them. Right? Because this theory is in Chinese medicine. So as a Chinese medicine herbalist and acupuncturist, we're going to focus on in this condition, how we're going to deal with it in Chinese medicine. Doesn't make sense. And I'm going to give you some acupressure point. Acupressure point. Okay, when we talk about is the heart out of balance. It, it is definitely the heart. What? And then we need to ask, whether is the heart out of balance causing no sweat or too much sweat? Right? So heart has the function to manage or control the sweating. What well, if is heart itself, then we treat the heart. Of course, in Chinese medicine, we have to ask more questions or we take the pulse, see the tongue to figure out whether it's from the heart or not, right? Whether it's, no, it's definitely from the heart, whether it's the heart out of balance causing it, or it's other, other organs, well, apart from heart, we have um, liver, gallbladder, right? Uh, um, mm, lung, large intestine, spleen, stomach, kidney, bladder. Whether are the others organs out of balance that causing heart out of balance? So then we need to figure it out. If you go through go through the the Chinese. Uh, uh, um, medicine um, diagnosis method like seeing the tongue, uh, check the tongue, check the pole, ask more questions to figure out whether is the heart itself out of balance causing no sweat or the other organs out of balance that causing heart to cause no sweat. Right? And that's our job. That's our job. But no matter which condition well, no matter which whether it's heart itself out of balance causing that all the other organs out of balance causing heart out of balance both of them heart definitely out of balance right so there's a tip for you on the on the meridian over here there's heart meridian from here down to here and go and uh, go over here and connect to the heart out there so that is one point over here over here right so which is little finger down here to your wrist that's one point over here as well but the simple one over here right so um two point you can do one in here one in here i'm going to show you uh this point and i'm going to show you that point later on so use a knuckle press here on the wrist down to your little fingers down here and press it if you hit the sensitive point and press it for one minute and then and then release it and go for another minute and then release it and go for another minute so about three minutes or five minutes on one single point then you go when you make your make a fist like this a loose one not very hard no just 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 simply do this and then where your little fingers pointing yeah that's another point All right so again this point is not as sensitive you have to press deeper so press deeper to reach the point and you can press it around to get the sense more sensitive one All right so uh or if you have any tool like this right if you haven't got it um you can contact us uh we we do sell this, right? Is um ten New Zealand dollars, 
and plus shipping we can send it to you All right so yeah contact us so you can do this press it it's much easier i find much easier right to reach the point or we can do this you know and all here as well again in this point five minutes three to five five minutes do it every day and then when your heart function balance you know it can control itself and then you'll find that the sweating situation will change or improve okay but stay awesome do you get this if you learn something please give me a thumbs up and let me know if you do learn something and more importantly is please share this live video and subscribe to our channel um give you a thumbs up and say hi to me whatever you want and share with your friends if they need this if you think that they need this uh, please share with them because uh, this is something that we want you to help we really want you to help because we want to reach as many people as we can to help as many people that we can, as we can all right without your help we can't reach it so stay awesome and kenny gonna see you tomorrow nine o'clock see you bye bye